are you? Now, while you two are together, you're asking Matt to get a hole in one the other day, right? Uh, yeah, I was. How did it go, Matt? I, 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 I had a, a, a chip, a close chip, about six feet from the hole, but I told her a hole in one would pretty much be impossible. Yeah. That's good enough, right? Well, that's great. Yeah, I wasn't sure about his golf game, but since he has his own tournament, you know, I was thinking, you know, he might be my hole in one guy. <laughs> I don't but, know, get, you know, send me the car or something, you know. <laughs> so how do you do? How did you do overall? I think we were eight under as a team. Um, it was the first time I got a chance to play, um, you know, since last summer with uh, tearing up my knee. So it was good to get out there and play a little bit. Gotcha. So how, how, how's the progress going with your knee? What have you been able to do lately? Um, it's coming good. You know, it's really exciting to really get the pain out and get all the swelling out. You know, during the playoffs and everything, it was swollen and, and hurt. And, uh, you know, I just tried to tough it out. But it was really good to be able to just really start feeling to get back to normal. I know last time we talked, it was early June. Your MRI results show that you're making improvements. Uh, uh, since that point, what else have you been able to do in terms of your progress with exercising? I'm doing everything but playing five on five. You know, I'm running now, I'm lifting weights, I'm working out, I'm on the bike. So I'm doing a lot of things now. I'm doing everything but playing five on five. Gotcha. Have they told you when you can play five on five? I, actually, I just asked my therapist on the way here today, so she hasn't responded. So I'm hoping within the next two weeks. And I guess uh, hitting the hitting the links is a good sign as well. Like, Yeah, I, you know, I had a few awkward swings and no pain in my knee, which was great. So. Uh, it's good to be able to get back out there and do everything I used to do. Yeah. I know obviously a lot of that hinges on your rehab efforts, but what are you planning to do this summer in terms of just off-season regimen? Uh, really just make sure I'm 100%. You know, I think I got a great team behind me, even with the lockout. Um, I still have a great medical staff and a uh, good trainer now. And, you know, just excited to really get back to where I was before. But, like, you know, first injury in nine years, it's hard to really grasp an injury. So it's going to be new for me to just get back to health and uh, be going 100%. I know obviously with the lockout, you know, you don't have access to facilities. But has anyone at this point yet organized, I guess, point moving forward when to get together with practices? What's going on with that? Not from the team standpoint because it's still early, but, uh, you know, people are playing up at UCLA now and LMU. So, like I said, once I get healthy, I'll be back out there playing with everybody. Cool. So who's all gone out there so far? A lot of people. Well, yeah. You know, a lot of people will be in L.A. for the lockout, you know, so I haven't been out there yet, but they said the games at UCLA have been great and they have good games at LMU, so I'm looking forward to getting back out gotcha. there. So uh, wh when do they usually play? Is there, or is it just kind of? I think it's six at LMU. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, you opened uh, – However long this takes, uh, would you be open to playing overseas? Uh, you know, uh, overseas is not something I'm looking at right now. Um, I'm one of the few players that doesn't mind the lockout at this point, like I said, because it's giving me time for my knee to heal. So right. I'm just going to make sure my knee is 100% and be ready for next season. I mean, you've talked a lot. Well, this is the last question. You've talked a lot, obviously, with just being able to take your time. But with the work stoppage in place specifically, how has that altered the way you've gone about your rehab? It's really been a blessing in disguise. It allowed me to take two months off after the season, which normally I don't do. I only take about two weeks to three weeks off. So I got a full eight weeks off. Like I said, all the pain's gone, all the swelling's gone, and now I'm really just be, be able to strengthen my leg. Cool. So you say you look good in the camp? Huh? How do you look in the camp? You look great. Kobe looked great in camp. Great. 360s and Duncan and... You see the Bow Wow thing? I get a chance to see that. I heard about it though, but it was good. All right. All right.